One of the big winners at this year's Oscars was Alfonso Cuaron's Gravity. Deserved all the awards and attention and recognition. Maybe, maybe more, maybe, maybe more. more. Sandra Bullock is a star. George Clooney is a star. It was co-written by Alfonso and his son, Honus. I can't wait until you and Ruby write a movie together. That'll be amazing. Of course, we all know the story. It's two astronauts in space, and anything that can go wrong does go wrong. They get assaulted by space debris that takes out a space shuttle and then a space stations and <sighs> stuff's crisscrossing all over the place. And Sandra Bullock is in a fight for survival. It's and Dr. It's, Ryan Stone. Yeah, and it's just intense, man, this movie is and intense. We also know the story of the film itself. Mm. It was a critical hit at all the film festivals. Everyone in the world had seen it. I think we were the last two critics who got to <laughs> You're see never this thing. Let that go, no, right? I'm mad because <laughs> it's hard to go into a movie that has been pre-sold yeah. as awesome. Yeah. And you sit down, and you know me, I gotta put on my scowl and yeah. why is this movie so great? But I sat down, I had a pretty good time when I saw it at the movies. We saw it on the IMAX screen, I think. We had an amazing time. It was it an wasn't incredible an amazing movie. time. Yes. Amazing is what I saw it the second time yeah. from the comfort of my my living room. I wasn't sure this was going to work at home. On, Without the 3D. I got a big one at home too. 52 incher. Yeah. That thing sprawls. <laughs> I was wondering if the epicness of it, this, the sense of being immersed in outer space with Mike Kowalski, George Clooney's character, and Dr. Yeah. Ryan Stone, would be lost. And guess what? It's not really. This movie, from start to finish, is absolutely gripping. I have some problems with it. You know me. I find problems with everything. I find problems with you all the time. Well, there's, there's I have problems with myself. Please talk to me. My other problem is Sandra Bullock and George Clooney really just play themselves yeah. in this film. I'm never really sold that she's Dr. Ryan Stone. Right. Could you still be misinterpreting the data? Well, we're not receiving any data. A lot of that is kind of explained when you go into the special features because this wasn't a movie where actors had freedom to improvise. I mean, they were trapped inside of these little suits and basically they've got dots over them. And you know, all that was needed was this. And that's what's taken and everything else is CG'd in this whole damn thing. So yeah, imagine it's, it's having- It's almost an animated movie. Almost, right? 90% like of it's animated. And that's a huge revelation when you really watch all of this stuff. you don't realize that yeah. until you start to watch the almost exhausting, exhausted yeah. special features. They go on and on and I almost feel like I know too much now because I love the, the suspension of disbelief that the state that I was in when I could just kind of believe in the movie as a fiction and, and now I know everything about every shot. I mean, it was literally like these rigs had your life in their hands. If something broke, I had nothing to hold on to. Some camera came crashing through my face. Nothing I could do, you just say goodbye. And they suffered and they invented new technology and they suffered some more. This thing but almost they... killed everybody except for George and Sandra Bullock. But they worked together and they built an artistic and technical masterpiece yeah, great. Yeah, that has changed arguing. cinema forever, you know, and that is... I don't know if it's changed no, it cinema has. forever. Be because That's... now they've employed we, new we techniques. We don't know that yet. Yes, we do. It's a great movie. It works in a multitude of different ways, and all of the behind-the-scenes stuff is so rich I'm, and so fun. I know you're going to give it a 10. I'm giving it a 10. I'm going to give it a 10, too, even though it has not changed cinema forever. <laughs> it, it has.